We invoke favor on this morning interpretation of our dreams. From the book of Daniel, chapter 7, we encounter the space of Daniel's dream of the four beasts and the raising of the kingdom. The temple of Lapis Lazuli and Cartouche. 184 and 28, which is a 10. Yeah. My first turn in the book brought me to page 104, sacred practice for the lady Isis, lady of Isis, is the infusion of Isis and Osis, bringing in the energies from Sirius and the encoding and the incantation is as follows. Please say with me. I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am. I am the light divine. I am the light divine. I am the love sublime. I am the love sublime. I am the peace beyond. I am, I am the peace, peace beyond. beyond. Space and time. Space and time. I am, I am, I am. I am, I am, I am, I am. I am. I am. And so it is. So much it be. In the temple of Carnelian, and we are present there with the Carnelian. In the temple of Lapis Lazuli, and we are present here with Lapis Lazuli, the sapphire stone. In the cartouche, the divine names of power, I invoke favor, goddess of the ancient skies. Your soul is very ancient, beloved, and does not only herald from the earth. It holds much special wisdom of star peoples from civilizations far and near, with unique high vibrational awareness that can help humanity transition from a civilization based in fear to a love-based culture. You are guided to come into deeper acceptance of your own inner knowing now. We are invoking favor on this divine working as we are now in the 1010 portal, working through the 1111 portal. All right, so as we repeat this incantation invocation, I'll go first, then Lois, then James. I call on the temple of Lapis Lazuli. I call on the temple of Lapis Lazuli. I call on the temple of Lapis Lazuli. I call upon the beings. I call upon the beings. I call upon the beings. Of love unconditionally. Of love unconditionally. Of love unconditionally. I call forth the awakening. I call forth the awakening. I call forth the awakening. Of my own inner eye. Of my own inner eye. I of call my forth my, my eye. Sorry. I call forth my wisdom. I call forth my wisdom. I call forth my wisdom. From peoples of the sky. From peoples of the sky. From the peoples of the sky. I call on the protection. I call upon the protection. I call upon the protection. Peace and wisdom within me. Peace and wisdom within me. Peace and wisdom within me. I now declare. I now declare. I now declare. 
that I am here and free. That I am here and free. That I am here and free. And so it is. And it is so. So. The cartouche, divine names of power. Lady Isis initiates you now to her special mysteries. To use the sacred intonations, the words that you speak are rapidly gaining power. To benefit from this power rather than be undermined or held back by it. Practice thoughtful speech and clear your heart of old unforgiveness which can poison your words unintentionally. As your heart grows in purity, you will be able to speak with spiritual authority and what you speak of will come into being more swiftly and obviously. Isis is initiating you as a master healer in the sacred tradition of the divine names of power. Received. We'll say the incantation, and you both can speak at once when I say it. I call upon Isis. I call, I call upon, upon Isis, Isis. Who loves me unconditionally. Who loves me, who unconditionally. Loves me unconditionally. Teach me to speak powerfully. Teach me to speak Teach powerfully. To speak powerfully. <laughs> From a place of love. From a place, From a place of, love. of love and peace sublime, and peace and sublime. Peace sublime. beyond time and space, beyond, beyond time, time and space, and my words will shine. My words, my words will shine, will shine. like diamonds with beauty, like, like diamonds, diamonds with beauty. beauty, and strength intense, immense, and with strength, strength intense, intense, immense. immense. They bring divine truth. They bring, they bring divine, divine truth. truth. And cut through pretense. And, and cut, cut through pretense. pretense. Beloved Isis. Beloved, Beloved Isis. Isis. Initiate me into your words of power. Initiate, Initiate me into your words of power. power. Your healing grace. Your healing your grace. grace. Descends upon me, descends upon upon me, me as a heavenly shower. As, as a, a heavenly, heavenly shower. shower. Close your eyes and imagine that you see into your own heart a space of light opening up. Within the space of light, you are you see a beautiful winged Isis in a blue robe of initiation, holding a cartouche a long tablet made of precious stones and metals with sacred symbols inscribed upon her brow. There is a vulture headdress and over her head, the hood of the blue robe rests. She lifts her left arm, resting the katouche against her body. And with her right arm, she gestures towards it. You understand that she is motioning for you to reach out with your right hand and touch the tablet, which you do. The cartouche becomes pure energy, vibrating and pulsing with life. New symbols appear, which are a gift of the divine name of power, especially for you. The symbols carry vibration, and they represent the actual sound of your sacred word from beloved Isis. She motions you to reach forward and to touch the tablet, with your left hand, which you do, and you feel love, light, and power from the cartouche. And the vibration of the symbols themselves entering your body through your left hand. As this happens, Lady Isis leans over and whispers the sacred word, her gift to you now. In your ear, you hear Isis offset. Mute your phone, James. Sorry, I was in the moment of doing that. I was like, what was that? Sorry. In your ear, you hear Isis offset. And she may or may not 
whisper another word or name as well. Whatever is whispered by the lady into your air at this time is the sacred word of protection and healing for you now. Let the energy from your arm and ear penetrate your entire body as unconditional love, wisdom, light, and divine power. Be then and out, and when you are ready, say, thank you for this gift. Beloved lady, may I use it with wisdom and mercy, so be it. Thank you for this gift, beloved lady. May we use it with wisdom and mercy, so be it. Thank you for this gift, beloved lady. May I use it with wisdom and mercy, and so be it. When you are ready, just open your eyes. With your eyes open, now say this incantation. Grace of sweet Lady Isis. Grace of sweet, of sweet Lady, Lady Isis. Isis. Cleanse me now of karmic crisis. Cleanse me Cleanse now me of now. karmic crisis. Of words said in haste. Of words of said words in haste. In haste. Their effect and cause. Their effect yeah, and cause. cause. Help the spiritual momentum. Help the Help spiritual, the spiritual momentum. momentum. Now pause. Now pause. Now pause. Negative repercussions now cease. Negative repercussions, Negative repercussions now, cease. now cease. All involved are filled with peace. All involved All in are filled with peace. peace. Your names of power. Your names of Your power. Name of power. End the pain. End, End the pain. pain. Dissolve unhappiness. Dissolve unhappiness. Bitterness and strain. Bitterness, Bitterness and strain. strain. Creating new webs of light. Creating, Creating new webs light. of light. And healing. And healing. And healing. Divine unconditional love. Divine, Divine unconditional, unconditional love. love. Now revealing. Now revealing. Now revealing. And so it is. And it is so. so much the power over the seven scorpions and the divine sisterhood and brotherhood and proper burial for freedom. I place the proper burial for freedom over the eye of Horus. Power over the seven scorpions and the divine sisterhood and brotherhood. We are in alignment. I also bring forth the Merkaba. And the key of life. The Merkaba. Spiritual work of the higher initiate. Your soul wishes to travel more freely between the dimensions of higher reality. This is to allow for conscious spirit communication, the free flow of the soul light into the physical body, and the joining in divine harmony of heaven and earth. It requires a powerful consciousness to do this. The Merkaba, chariot of ascension, and the soul fire is a spiritual gift 
to attain these divine purposes now available to you as a high initiate. We are in the process of the ritual for the Merkaba. And as you visualize the movement clockwise and counterclockwise with you in the center, we'll do the incantation now. For those who may wish to have this typical activation done, you can see us at the Iron and Clay Ministries or the I Am Love Cajun Queen Tarot. We call for Lady Isis and Serapis Bay. Lady Isis and Serapis Bay shining bright. Support my Merkaba, build my body of light. I am in your protection now, and from harm I am free. Align me now with my inner divinity. Through my own free will as a being of light, I now allow my Merkaba a light, arising from below and descending from above. Penetrate darkness to with divine light and love. Merkaba protection, body and spirit as one. Fragmentation and disconnection are now forever undone. And so it is. It is so. Divine destiny is now the next card invoked. The path of the divine warrior. The divine warrior guides you to your divine destiny. The divine warrior energy exists within men and women as the inner propulsion to continue with a worthy path, even during times of difficulty. When faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon more of him or herself to the cause. It might be more wisdom, focus, intelligence, and surrender into the divine. The warrior within has great inner resourcefulness and determination. This part of you will lead you to spiritual success. Mute your line. We're recording this, James. The incantation. Warrior strong within my heart, you beat. My highest destiny, I shall meet. Your power, focus, and determination and fear, doubt, and procrastination. Warrior strong within my heart, you beat. Together, my highest destiny, we greet. And so it is. It is so. The card next is the Divine Guardian. And this is entering the fierce belly of Sekhmet. And as you can see, Sekhmet is now aligned over with the Saturn stone and the Carnelian is in the center of the working. Divine Guardian. Divine Guardian. Temple of Carnelian. Divine Guardian. We call you forth the protection of the winged mother. Winged mother, guardian of light, surround me with your protective might. Only love and light enter this field. 
or the scarab sword you shall wield. Driving away darkness with endless light, bring peace to every day and to every night. And so it is. Divine Sisterhood. Community of spiritual sisters and brothers of the light. In community that is based on inequality, respect, healthy boundaries, and personal freedom with mutual desire for spiritual growth and honoring of innate wisdom, great miracles can occur. You're a part of this community of light. At one time it existed only in the spiritual world, yet now it is being born on the earth. It is part of your destiny to help create and nurture a conscious community that empowers all of its members and is based in truth. Living Waters. This is our prayer. Beloved Isis, please help me find my beloved brothers and sisters of unconditional love on the inner planes and in this world of form. Guide me to healthy community that helps me grow with unconditional love where I can find my rightful place and be my inner self. Thank you. May I have the courage, wisdom, and openness of heart to trust your guidance and to act on it of my own free will. So be it. And it is so. One of our highest intentions to manifest its place at the crown on this mesa. So most it come down. Power over the seven scorpions. Seven chakras, seven scorpions, seven gifts of spirit, seven chakras, seven tones, seven days of the week. Seven principal archangels. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring. You have the power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You are guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment, with mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. We're gonna go straight into the ritual. So you are seated or laying down, just close your eyes, comfortably setting. You will be using the image or symbol of the scorpion to represent forces which can be destructive that are in or around your energy field or in and around this planet, in and around this universe. Visualize the base of your spine, the coccyx, and there's a scorpion there. And as you know, we're healing the root, the base of the spine. With love and gratitude, I name you the demon of fear and I release you in all your forms and effects, beloved. Thank you for the learning. Now you must leave my being, leave the space, time, plane, earth, universe, the cosmos, and you may not return. Breathe in deeply and out through the base of your spine. 
See now, sense and feel and intend that the scorpion be transformed into the symbol of light and love. It may be an actual form or shape or simply a golden light. It may change into a feeling or a sensation in the body. And we know in the root chakra, you can all visualize your attacker. You can all visualize the person that created the hurt and the harm there. Sense, see them being transmuted. Sense, see them being transmuted by the holy flame. The burning sense of frankincense and myrrh. They're going up in smoke. Now visualize a sacral area, the area of your hips, pelvis, and belly. Perceive a scorpion there and be neutral in your heart and say aloud, with love and gratitude, I name you the demon of guilt and I release you in all your forms and effects, beloved. Thank you for the learning. Now you must leave my being and not return. Now you must leave the earth the physical plane, the astral plane, this universal plane, the cosmic plane, and you may not return. Breathe in deeply, out through the hips and pelvis. See, sense, feel, and intend that the scorpion be transformed into a symbol of light and love. It may be an actual form, shape, or simply golden light and it may change into a feeling or a sensation in the body. We know those who has, have created in this area the feeling, the guilt. That demon of guilt is being transformed now and transmuted. Now visualize the stomach and the digestive area and perceive a scorpion there. Say with love and gratitude, I name you as the demon of shame and I release you in all your forms and effects, beloved. Thank you for your learning. I am free. Now you must leave my being and not return. Now you must leave this physical plane, the material plane, the spiritual plane, the astral plane, the universal plane, and the cosmos, and you may never return. Breathe in deeply, out through your stomach and digestive area. See, sense, feel, and intend that the scorpion be transformed into a symbol of light and love. It may be an actual form or shape or simply a golden light. It may change into a feeling or sensation in the body. And it is so. Visualize the heart and the center of your chest and perceive a scorpion there. Say with love and gratitude, I name you as the demon of grief on ending and I release you in all your forms and effects beloved thank you for the learning now you must leave my being and not return now you must leave the physical plane the material plane of existence the astral plane the earthly plane the universal plane and the cosmic plane and you may not return Breathe in deeply and out through the heart and the center of your chest and your lungs. See, sense, feel, or intend that the scorpion be transformed into a symbol of light and love. And so it is. Visualize the base of your throat and neck and perceive a scorpion there. Say with love and gratitude, I name you as the demon 
of lies. And I release you in all your forms and effects, beloved. Thank you for the learning. Now you must leave my being and not return. Now you must leave the earth plane, the physical plane, the material world, the astral plane, the universal plane, the cosmic plane, false truth, devils, lies. You must leave. You must never return. Breathe in deeply through the base of your neck and throat. See, sense, feel, and intend that the scorpion be transformed into a symbol of light and love. Visualize the forehead just above the eyebrow and in the center with neutralness. Perceive the scorpion there and say with love and gratitude, I name you as the demon of illusion and I release you in all your forms and effects. Beloved, thank you for the learning. Now you must leave my being and not return. Now you must leave the physical plane, the material plane, the astral plane, the universal plane, the cosmic plane, and not return. Breathe in deeply and out through your forehead and the center just above the eyebrows. See, sense, feel, or intend that the scorpion be transformed into a symbol of light and love. Visualize the top of your head. Perceive a scorpion there and say with love and gratitude, I name you the demon of attachment and I release you in all your forms and effects, beloved. Thank you for the learning. Now you must leave, must leave my being and not return. Now you must leave the physical plane, the material world, the astral world, the universal plane, the cosmos, and not return. Breathe in deeply and out through the top of your head. See, sense, Feel or intend that the scorpion be transformed into a symbol of light and love. Now say aloud with me. Beloved Isis, mother of magic. Healing and conjuring power. Sublime. Thank you for this healing divine. Your love protection, and power is mine to serve in love and peace. So be it. And when you are ready, just open your eyes. The incantation is as follows. Over any poison, big or small, I can heal and repair. My words have power over all. I do not entertain despair. I name the truth within and around me with deep compassion and clarity. The pain of life bothers me no longer. I exercise with love my power to conjure. And so it is. It is so. It is so in this place. And so it is. Proper burial for freedom. Sacrifice to Osiris, the Lord of the dead. In order for life to flow and express itself, that which belongs to the world of death must be released. There is nothing to be gained and everything to be lost by trying to hold on to that which no longer serves us, which is better off left to die. Though it takes great spiritual courage and trust to allow this to happen, Osiris, Lord of the Dead, guides you now to release 
that which no longer needs to be a part of your life so that you may be free. We are here in the space for healing. Be quiet, sit quietly and close your eyes, focusing on your breathing. Taking now your awareness into your heart, going deeper within your heart. With each breath, until you become aware of the vast open space in all directions around you. Say aloud, I call upon Lord Osiris who loves me unconditionally to cast into unconditional loving care that which no longer naturally belongs in the land of the living. Stay in your heart. Lady Lois, the rods, please. Okay. <clears throat> Show us yes. Yes. Show us no. No. Those spirits that were here for this ruling and for this proper burial for freedom, do you now understand completely the verdict of this action? Yes. Any and all beings, 333, three, three, that no longer needs to be in the land of the living, now must be taken, so mote it be. Do you understand? Yes. I read aloud again. Lord Osiris, are you present? Yes. Please connect with all these beings that have been called into this council. Yes. And they're remote that are in the land of the living. Yes. We call on this invocation again. Lord Osiris, who loves me unconditionally, to cast into unconditional loving care that which no longer naturally belongs in the land of the living. Yes. I now call forth that which is attached to my energy field and does not serve me unconditionally. Yes. I now choose of my own free will to cast into the loving care of Osiris all attachment, histories, beliefs, and beings of any influence that are not aligned with unconditional love. Yes. I release you now through all time and space with love and respect. Go in peace. You may not return to me ever. Yes. Our contracts are now dissolved and I set you free. I set myself free. So be it. Yes. Let yourself be at peace. If you feel emotions or surprise as different impressions register in your body and mind, just let them flow without attachment. You may feel fear, anger, sadness, or grief arising and the leaving of your body. You may temporarily feel confusion, nausea, or waves of regret or pain as energies now leave. Do not concern yourself. Stay with the process and know that you are supported. Close your eyes and perceive Osiris receiving the light of the candle into his own heart with love and compassion. His heart is vast and can now receive so much old energy and pain from you. Simply taking it into his heart and letting it burn in the sacred fire of his heart chakra. Stay with the process until you feel it is completed. The sensor between my shoulder blades to the right side is now flared and diminishing. Once the candle is dry, we will dispose of it completely as an offering to Osiris with thanks for his divine service. Your healing ritual is complete. This incantation is said aloud. 
Osiris, master of love and peace, bring my soul the light of relief through unconditional love and the heart that is true. I release that which I sh that should be returned to you. I surrender all not of unconditional love to your peaceful heart, pure as the dove. I am free from that which no longer lives. New life and healing you now give. To that which is due burial, proper and right, we are all free now to grow with the light. I am free to move on now thanks to you with unconditional love and compassion too. And so it is. It is so. Pyramid of light, burning bright. I am love, I am light. To manage my own energy feel, I have every right. Compassion, peace, and strength, I am. I witness the dark with peace in my heart. In my energy, there is space only for love that is unconditional and gentle as a dove. I am unconditional love. I am unconditional love. I am unconditional love. And so it is. It is so. The key of life, the onk. Cross of life, cross of light. Protect me through the darkest plight, held within the Isis womb. New melody of my soul tune, safely held in the top, in the loop unbroken, till it is time for new life to break open. Cross of life, cross of light, protect me through the darkest plight, held within the Isis womb, new melody of my soul tune, safely held in the loop unbroken, till it's time for new life to break open. Cross of life, cross of light, protect me through the darkest plight, held within the Isis womb, new melody of my soul tune, safely held in the loop unbroken, till it's time for new life to break open. Now for those who do not know, the Liber of Lilith, it did so. The key of life, the Ankh Sanata, was used to trap the nefarious entities here. Hybridized, you have been in bodies of earth cells. Now see your worth. Your lies and deception marks you. Readiness for the veil you have not passed through. Tuned to this missive, yes, you have been. Misled, misinitiated, disideated, now look at you ingratiated. Many chances you've been given to speak life, love, and truth, to take and to give endings and new beginnings to that which your ancestors took. Now look. The books of your miscreation marks you unfit. And now reaping as sown, now you derive the lack of benefit. Beneyo Jesu, Beneyo Aloai. Now you see here through the Horus eye. Awakening of the divine perception. The Horus, the Chorus, now here enters in divine perfection. The rising of consciousness, a new divine solar child reborn. Yet, in your past lives, present power, the many spiritual faces we have worn as way showers, the hourglass turned, the cobra bites, and now your initiations awry or right. I speak to the beings 
that which have been in confusion, that have been prone to their disideations and their illusions. I place you on the Saturnian stone, the rings of Saturn now you must bear and own. Magic and ritual comes to make a right. All that was hidden in the darkest night illuminate bright. Crafting in the sacred practice, you cannot earn that which you took in malice. The miracle of Isis through this portal 10-10-11-11, miraculous healing from the goddess I-7. The high priestess invokes, hear that which I spoke, the mysteries revealed in the eyes of Isis, Isis, Osis Ra. In the temple of Obsidian, I am Amen and Obsidian, black Amen, white plasmic light, galactic wind. I invoke thou in this talk and spoken. The temple of Carnelian, here the belly of Sekhmet, heals that which is broken. Sekhmet, who loves me unconditionally, brave. Bright as fire, bold as can be. Bless the situation with your healing power. Do it now this very hour. I offer you love and gratitude from my heart as I li- as you liberate me from this trouble dark. Sekhmet, Sekhmet 3, who loves with passion and might, you now assist me with your eternal fire bright. Sekhmet 3, Ariel, Eris, Eris, Mercury, Kaba. Encoding a chia tura che deles dre in our octovertu rusun sia crea. Goddess of a thousand, ten thousand names. Endless emanation of the priestess who wears your bane. Forever now see through the eyes of Nutra Amenti. Encoding chia cellular rastura che deles dre to rusun si. Sio se kea shana. Sio sentura ke lebre, vosti vost in kios torak tebel tu rosan si glebre tu rosan si. Emenetu ro kora rosan si glebre, ratora ke delebre tu rosan si gle ara arora re ro, arora re beriole se, arora boriole se ro kende ria se ro selendi re, se ora litre onio ke asur ya lebre, tor rosan si glie roton deria kara lebre. You know my language, you know my tone. Cartusia et tonat rorosen sia clemon. Vertu gorosan celebri, tos un si librea corosan si. You said you've never met a god. Nice to meet you, 333. And so it is. Invoked now, so mote it be. Now, for those of you who will watch this at a later time and date and space and time, these are beautiful gifts available for the activation see so divine. Free readings, gift for gift, the law of reciprocity and compensation now lift, predominantly now in your focus, 111, and 11, 222, and 333. This work has been done. Now so it is, it is moat, and it is be. Thank you for your patience. Long suffering you have been. Call me now for a reading, and we'll open the doors of meaning to come in. You may stop the recording.